Carbon capture and storage is essential if we're going to have future coal-fired power stations. They are very dirty at the moment. Uh, they create lots of carbon dioxide. We've got to get rid of that carbon dioxide. Now, carbon capture and storage is as yet an untried uh, uh, technology. We know roughly how it's going to work, but it's never been tried on a major scale in a large-scale power station. So the first thing we need to do is do the work on making it work on a large scale. And then we need to develop the technology so we can sell it elsewhere around the world. Because this is not just something for the UK, it has to be something that applies elsewhere around the globe as well. If we were to carry on burning coal as we are, climate change would just get worse. Um, carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere get worse. It's not acceptable to do that. So if we have to use coal, which I think we do, as well as nuclear and more renewable energy, we have to have the carbon capture on board. We have to move that forward. All carbon capture and storage does is it uses a, a existing process, but on a much grander scale, to actually take the waste gas from the power station, you capture it using a chemical process, and then you regenerate it from the same chemical process, and then you transmit it as a, as a fluid down the pipe to a, a hole in the ground and inject the carbon dioxide. And if it's the right reservoir, it's the right storage place, it'll stay there. And we're talking tens of thousands of years. It just won't get out. And moving that technology forward is, is critical. So what we're trying to do in partnership with countries like China and India and other, other countries around the world is develop technologies so that coal-fired power stations are uh, still good for the planet. In Europe, for instance, the uh, electricity producers, European electricity producers, they've estimated that carbon capture and storage could be playing up to 40% of the reduction effort that we're needing up to 2030. And globally, in particular countries which are using a lot of coal, like the United States and China, carbon capture and storage is likely to be a very important part of their portfolio of fighting against climate change. You have to understand, it isn't just significant for global warming purposes. There's an energy security aspect to this. Coal uh, is a very abundant uh, resource, and mostly in, in friendly country hands. So coal is a resource we want to be able to use. Uh, if it can be done cleanly, it's perfect. Every week, China's building two coal-fired power plants. That's an awful lot of carbon going into the atmosphere. We need to stop that now, and carbon capture is the way to do it. I want to see a decision from the UK government very soon to go for a major large-scale demonstration project for carbon capture and storage, because that's the only way in which we will know that it can work for future coal-fired power stations. I believe that if you're going to go for a, a Keynesian stimulus for the economy, which is very much what the government are talking about, uh, the uh, development of green technology and carbon capture and storage is absolutely part of that, is an absolutely wonderful way of getting that kickstart going. So my message to the government is here is a great opportunity to give the economic stimulus that the economy needs, to get the technology in place, and to gain a first mover advantage around the rest of the world. <laughs>